Hey guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. So today we're going to do some upgrading. I did say I'd do do some weapon stuff, but um, I mean, I don't really have time for that. So we did a couple of researches. Uh, the first most important one being is uh, rockets. We're now up to rocket tech. So this is the stuff we can use to win the game. But I, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm in any rush to do it necessarily. Uh, well, obviously we did artillery before. Uh, I think I finished most of the laser stuff. I think for the most part. Um, yeah, we're we're onto the infinite stuff for damage, and yeah, I have all the um, the laser shooting speed. So the lasers are right now as good as they're ever going to get uh, uh, with respect to this run. As I said, we're done with that. Um, I'm done like atomic bomb or anything. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Like a lot of these researches are now like kind of. Eh. I mean, flamethrower damage is good. We're almost done Corvex uh, enrichment process. So I, I've actually never researched this, and I'm in, kind of interested to see what's up with that. So, and with that being said, uh, if I go look up here, uh, this is our new base here. Um, so, what did I do? Uh, three iron stops. This is the mother load of all iron. Uh, 22 million and 10 million. It's like 32 million in total. So, there's also a fair bit of oil here, so I actually made an additional oil stop as well. Uh, so here's the uh, oil train. Actually, I haven't seen it work. Okay, so apparently it doesn't work. Uh, why is that? Oh, it's less than. It's uh, greater than or equal to. Let me uh, tell it to go back there. Luckily, because I put so many loops in the line, it'll, uh, it'll come back. Uh, it looks like I fucked that one up. My bad. So This is why we have loops, because then they can just turn around and come back. That's why loops are good in the system. It helps with their pathfinding, you know. Alright, well, while that's going on, uh, let's check out over here. So, yeah, so we got bots in the in here. Unfortunately, there's a bit of stone and stuff here. Yeah, now it looks like it's actually working appropriately. Um, yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to be now. Okay, that's much better now. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Um, so, there's, like, stone and coal here. So, what I did was I have, like, a little thing dividing the coal off. Splitters, man. Splitters are so good. I have another thing dividing the stone off. What's what's the problem over here? A bot was destroyed there. Why was a bot destroyed there? Fuck! How did that happen? It's not even in the logistics network. Oh, I something must have been repairing here, and then it tried to make its way back to me, because uh, I was up there just recently. Um, so anyways, so that's it for that. So with that being said, uh, we now have almost no nuclear fuel uh, with Corvax, but the, the more important thing though is for the trains, uh, where is it at? So the really, really, really good thing uh, about, uh, it's the rocketry. Uh, we get uh, rocket fuel here. And it requires 30 seconds for 10 sol solid fuel. Um, uh, and if you actually look at the cost of solid fuel, three seconds for each solid fuel. So it actually kind of works out perfectly because like, you know, you times it by 10 and then like, yeah, the ratios just kind of line up really well. And I, I've actually already been making some. And not only that, on top of that, if I actually go to my car, there's some rocket fuel in there, uh, which is really, really nice. So. Uh, there's two things we have to do today. Uh, we're going to upgrade our trains to use rocket fuel instead of uh, regular fuel. And so I'll actually show you the, the difference between it. So if I actually go into my car here and drive around a little bit. It actually has higher acceleration. Uh, that's primarily what it does. Um, so if you actually look here, it has a fuel value and a vehicle acceleration rate. So it's 180% for acceleration. Because acceleration is a more, more of the limiting factor here. And it tells you also the fuel value. So it's worth... 225, I think it's megajoules or something, opposed to solid fuel, which is 25 megajoules. So remember, this is 10 of solid fuel, but you can tell that there's a bit of uh, uh, potential fuel value lost in the process. Um, 25, it's not a big deal. Um, I mean, I, I don't mind that. I'd rather have my rocket powered cars than anything, to be honest. Uh, but we're gonna do a couple things. So there's a lot of uh, iron trains waiting. And our factory has a major steel issue. So you can tell that I have these steel furnaces going and it's still like going nowhere. Um, so that's a bit of an issue. So we're going to maybe fix that a little bit. Um, I don't know to what extent necessarily, but yeah. You can tell that there's a lot of uh, iron now, which is nice because I, I kind of need that. But I think what we're going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this layout here. 
and we're gonna put it right here. There we go. I don't even think we need this guy anymore. I don't think I'm making any more trains. I know I know it's like, you know, famous last words, but uh, whatever, deal with it. So I don't know what we're gonna necessarily do about that side, and I haven't quite decided about that one. Uh, the other thing I have to decide upon is how to bring this all the way down here, and I think we're gonna use blue belts, actually. Something I probably should have been upgrading way before, but you know, I didn't. We can actually bring this all the way down here now. And the other thing we need is we need ovens because I have to figure out what, how, where the fuck we're gonna we're gonna process this. It'll probably be down here, honestly, somewhere. Or it actually, it could be right here on this side. Fuck it. I, I forgot that we exp we expanded the wall that way. Uh, so power, power is still good. Power is at um, we're at about 500 megawatts, and I think our power capacity right now is definitely. I don't know, I think like 800, and but like when I start the other two reactors, it'll be a little bit more than that. So something to keep in mind. All right, where's the ovens? There they are. I have a hundred. Good. So yeah, steel has been a, a huge issue. It never makes it over here. Um, so we're going to drastically increase the lines for that um, by a lot. And actually, one thing we can do uh, because of the fact I productivity moduled. Um, the steel here, I can actually say, we can look at these, we can actually look at <clears throat> the products they finish. So this, this goes 58, this goes 28, uh, this goes 14, and then everything down here, everything below this line is basically nothing. So they never make it down here, really. So we're going to just deconstruct this all. So that's how we kind of, I guess, figured out the perfect ratio for this, because, yeah. That's that's how it goes. I mean, if the if this line is backed up, I actually don't really mind at all uh, that if it's backed up at all. But this also gives us a fair bit more ovens as well, and also some productivity module threes. And I I think I stopped making those, but we should actually resume making those. So we're gonna Sonic the Hedgehog up here. Uh, where is this place? Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna have that keep going because I wanted to keep it, give it more blue. Uh, sorry, some more blue chips over there. And we're also going to do some Corvax, so uh, a lot of action today, let me tell you. Too much action. Entirely too much. If you can't take it, turn off the video. No. I don't know, fucking iron lines and shit. No, you know how that goes. Alright. So, uh, we just now are going to make another oven line here. Uh, just go somewhere like right here. Yeah. Probably not getting run over by trains. All right, so we're gonna let this just uh, do what it needs to, and we're gonna bring over that line. I don't know what we're gonna do with this side, but I figure we can just leave it the way it is. And also, we apparently need a, a lot more iron chests, so let me just make all of those. Are we missing something? Well, still making, still putting things down. We may need some more stuff. What, what do we need right now for materials? Okay, we mostly need yellow inserters. I come back, little bots. How many ovens do we have left? We have uh, a, a couple. So, like I said, I'm not too sure what to do with most of this stuff. Um, like, I, I'm not a not the best planning man, I guess. And I know these things are kind of appearing to go a little bit slowly into their destination, but. Uh, that's mostly because uh, it's not being used on the way out, but I know the minute I add another steel line, it's going to go insane, so. We have to make sure that we don't, we don't, it doesn't come to that. Alright, so, whoops. I pressed the wrong button. That's fine. No, that's not that I wanted. It's this. So luckily, we can make stuff far faster now. Alright. And then I guess I'll just uh, work on the output then. Even though we need inserters. Actually, let's just go get the inserters first. So I don't know what to do about that end yet. I haven't quite decided. Um, I mean, the smart thing to do would be to just put it into the system. Uh, but, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do fine. We'll just do this. Actually, no, we need more ovens for that. So fuck that. Actually, we're not doing that. 
How many are in here already? Barely anything. Alright, we're gonna just let this, uh, these bots give me what their goodies. Where's it taking that guy? Alright, whatever. We'll just take all of the inserters. Alright, it's gonna be some lights. I think I'm good. It looks like there's a bit more steel coming in there, but it's not it's clearly not enough though. We we do desperately need some more steel. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I retired um, the two old outposts. This one's gone. And this one's gone too, because we mined them completely out. In fact, there's some walls in that chest for some reason, because I think I ran out of uh, resources. Uh, this one is basically retired. I actually don't have anything going to this train, but I didn't tear it up because of the coal. Uh, I mean, there's still some miners there that I, I can get rid of. But yeah, but basically I tore them up because of the fact that we had this new place that required so many miners. Um, that it just made sense for me to do that. Did I also tear up t Copper 2? Uh, I kinda did. I just, there's no train coming to it anymore. The stop still exists though. Um, and there we go, we just got Corvax and Richmond, so we'll, uh, we'll fuck with that in a little bit. Actually, let's, let's fuck with that now. Where is this made in? I, I'm gonna assume that that's made in something else. So yeah, we have a, we now have a new train system for this. Uh, where, where'd I put my car? It's over there somewhere. All right. I'm just gonna delete all these old rails that I don't use. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna put some nuclear fuel in. Uh, I need some uranium two thirty two thirty five though. Uh, is this not where we make it? Oh it, no, we probably make it in the centrifuges. Um, ha, huh. yeah, we make it in a centrifuge. Well, okay, scrap that, or maybe not. Maybe not scrap that. Fuck. I want to make like uh, so nuclear fuel is not something we're gonna we're gonna particularly use very often, but it seems like a fun thing to actually use. So we'll, we'll just go use that. All right, so we need our good uranium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'll make like fifteen nuclear fuel. All right, we'll do that. Uh, what do I need to make a centrifuge? You know, we were making oven layouts before, and now now look at us. Look at us now. We're totally not doing that. But unfortunately, centrifuges require steel, so that's why it's actually a really good idea for me to upgrade our steel lines. But, uh, yeah, let me just, uh... Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, it's just fucking all over the place. Hello, centrifuge. I figure, I figure this is something that we can just leave for a little bit. So I was making some uh, fuel right here, right? And we'll give it all of this, and I'll put it into a nice box right here. Okay, so we'll just leave this be. It'll, it'll just do its thing, it'll take a little while. Apparently nothing in this chest. All right, let's uh, resume our electric furnace adventure. Um, so, yeah, let's, um, let's think about this, actually. We actually need a lot more furnaces than this, and I would actually prefer if we just don't, we don't even have a place for, uh, let me filter and sort of this out. We just, we, we, we need to grab these things off the line right now, instead of having it get eaten by, uh, the fucking purple science, so... Uh, while it's doing that, I can still make the next furnace line, so that's that's pretty good. I can do that. Uh, so we're just gonna upgrade our, our steel basically this episode, um, and probably do Corvax enrichment. I'm gonna promise at least that. But it's one of those things. Like I'm not I'm not sure where to draw the line with respect to uh, things that you've seen before, but it, I mean, the, the, these these things come up so fast once I get the resources for them. So, also I'm probably gonna dump this, uh, this crappy layout I have here in a bit. I don't think we need that anymore. All right, so there you go, go get the rest of your stuff. Nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, so this, this will be nice.
No place to put wood. Why? Oh. Uh, are you part of a... You are in a fucking network. There. I didn't realize they were helping me. Alright, so it's still missing a couple ovens and other good things. But that's okay, because we can just kind of, you know... We can just kind of resume in the meantime. We don't actually need all of this good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Why? Oh, that, that train. I see. I have this going the wrong way, I just realized. Alright. So I, I don't know if this is overkill. It it it, it actually might be. <laughs> With the amount of steel I'm making, but you know the thing is we found that place and I'm I'm like, you know what? There's no reason for me not to. Alright. Actually we can go like that. There we go. All right, and then same as before. And then we combine it onto a nice blue belt. Same thing over here. Uh, we will need some more ovens though. Fuck, the trees are in the way. Just wanna get rid of this all. All right, um, same deal. It seems to, for the most part, just fix all the issues with like, I don't know, rand random compression issues. There's still some sometimes, but yeah, it's whatever. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. That was your problem. I just wanna eat them up, there we go. Oh. And I took it. Oh fuck, dude. Where am I at now? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking before this. All right, whatever. I'm cutting it out. All right, let's see if our oven line is better. 94. All right, that'll have to do for now. Um, so I've completed most of the furnaces over there, and then we're just gonna combine into line. We're gonna make the new splitter layout, and then uh, then we're good. So I have to decide. I think I think we can afford to have two more. Uh, furnace lines, but we'll see actually. Uh, sorry, two more, um, lines for, uh, everything, whatever. It looks like, as I said, it looks like it's working out, so let's go over here and not get run over by trains. There you go. Go, my little bots, go. Alright, not enough logistic. Fuck. One one has a piece of wood there. Well, let's just uh, give it a chest here. Now, I mean, the smart thing to do would have been to actually add, like, chests to every single logistic network, so there's never problems like this, but, um, I don't know, we, we don't really do the smart thing, necessarily. Sorry. I don't know if I should do something. I'm just gonna go like this. I, I don't. I. I just. I, it doesn't matter to me. It just doesn't matter. Now, the only problem that I may have with this, is I think when I make it over here, there's actually not enough space on this side here, so we're definitely gonna have to shuffle this around. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Once again, I. <laughs> I wonder to myself why this line, uh, this one red belt has uh, cost me so much and. Resources here, but whatever. All right. Anyways, um, so let's figure out what the current uh, splitter is, and then let's figure out what we need to upgrade it to. All right. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're adding two more lines. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we're gonna say eight to nine uh, balancer. So I don't even want to know what this is gonna look like. Oh god, oh god. Oh, it doesn't even work. It doesn't even support that. Alright. Alright, you're fucking lost. Um, right. Right, doesn't even support that to begin with. But, you know what? It maybe will be okay. We'll see. 
Um, huh. Okay, let me let me first look at what is the lines the the left one. What's this one going to? Uh, let me look at the lines that are most likely to. Okay, that's the main bus, the secondary main bus line. This is the. Uh, oh yeah, the microchip one, of course. Okay, so let's keep those in mind. I don't know how to really mark those for myself. Uh, whatever, I guess we won't. It's the fourth and the the other fourth. <laughs> uh, all right, let's have it go all the way through. We're gonna use as much as possible. All right. I'm gonna do this just so I know that one is barely used. All right, and then we're going to have uh, where's my my book? There we go. All right, not too shabby. Uh, let's just um, let's do this because I'm going to have a priority splitter output left. Uh, but like any excess will be essentially put back into the network, I guess. And now we need to figure out this. So this is a bit of a disaster. Be moved around. They did not think that I would need more than this. Well, they clearly don't know me. All right, well there you go. I, there's still gaps in this. This is this patch is so odd sometimes. All right, so let's get this guy. Um, we're gonna priority output on the right side. So we're gonna do something like this. So now we have two lines. Not exactly full lines, but you know, it's good enough. Good enough for uh, what, what my purpose is here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is this, this layout was probably close to perfection. So we're gonna just copy this guy over. Cause this is how much steel we apparently need is this much. And luckily we did, we did plan this out and we kind of have, uh, can we just put it the other way? We kind of could. Actually, would be an excellent idea. Uh, we're just gonna let the bots do this thing. Uh, luckily, luckily they're all productivity module too. That's also very, uh, very, very excellent. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough uh, ovens, but when we go back up there, we'll probably have enough then. I guess for real. I'm just running out of like juice, but I can't pick up possibly pick up a hundred of them. So, so basically, we lost. Wait a second. Is this one blue belt for this thing? Holy shit! I actually suck. I just realized how much steel production we didn't have uh, just now. Um, I don't know if we're going to need that much. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Let's let's play around with this first, because I, I didn't realize I actually had done this. This might be actually overkill, but at least we have, like, an excess line. Like, this line is going to be our excess, you know? So we can potentially do some more stuff with it. We can either add another line of uh, furnaces for this stuff. I don't know where the fuck that's going to go, though. Maybe like go down here or something. If we need more, if we need more steel than that, it's a big if though. All right, let's uh bring the steel up instead. So what do we still need for this? Uh, we need a lot of stuff. So I'm kind of hoping this will fix our issues as it is, but you know how that goes. Doesn't. But if we can get like two full lines of steel, I would be a I would be happy as hell. Oh wow, well, <laughs> this doesn't even make it over here. Actually, it can make it over there if we if we do it from up here. I'd always prefer the, the steel comes from like something like that. There you go. All right. 
So now I feel to myself that this can be a little bit over here. Yeah, I know. I probably should plug in the thing to the power and things like that. Let me let me go see if I can get more ovens first. Let's rush up here and get them. What else do I need? I think I need more... Uh... Yeah, the bots are like desperately... I just left their network for a second. Fuck. Whatever. One electric for... Oh, that's because it's up here. It's, of course. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I think we have enough now. And some. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so... I'm gonna let it give me everything it needs. I'll probably also pick up some more yellow inserters while we're at it. Oh, uh, what do we add? Uh, about 20 minutes for this. Alright, yeah, the fact that we're doing all this is probably not the best. Um... I guess what we'll do as well is we'll increase the cargo size of bots because that's an important upgrade to get. Let me just make sure I have enough inserters. Alright, pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Alright. So we're going to hop down here. Uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to plug in... I was going to plug this in, but... I guess I'm gonna have to big power pull it. There we go. Do something like that. Alright, oh, they're missing productivity modules too on top of that. Ah, oh, that sucks. We should probably resolve that as well. Alright, what's missing now? Yeah, just productivity modules now. Luckily we have a chest coming full of those, but yeah. Steel just, I think, is one of the things that we, we sort of need to productivity module. It's hard to tell. Priority to the right. This way it doesn't leave like random crap over here. There you go. So that should double our steel ish. Uh, it depends how much is coming in there right now. Yeah, it's sort of weird how it spaces it out, isn't it? Isn't it kind of strange? I don't know why it does that. Anyways, let's go get some more productivity modules. I mean, blue chips is also sort of a problem, but not the biggest one. All right, we got 20 more modules, so I'm not too pleased. Only 20. I guess on that matter, let's see, petroleum is good, every, everything is good. Uh, I mean, the only thing that might not be good is uh, the, 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 the rate at which we're trying to make this stuff, but yeah. All right, so next thing's next. Um, uh, let's do Corvax Enrichment. Uh, and yeah, we needed steel for that. So now that, now that this is looking much better, actually. We're going to now uh, ruin it by basically just taking a bunch of stuff off of the line. Oh, we got a couple things here. This needs a ton of centrifuges, though. A fair bit of centrifuges, and I, I still have this place here where I was making cement, but I, I, I just I don't think I'm ever gonna use this, honestly. Uh, we produce 5k processing units per hour, nice. I've been actually getting random achievements like that uh, this entire time. I know why, it's just, you know, random reasons. It's like, oh, you did this, you did this. Holy shit, the amount of red chips we need. Fortunately, this uh, system I have of just eating things off of the line is not the best. Uh, so, I mean, I should probably, like, have ch chests full of this stuff, but yeah, whatever. Alright, so how many centrifuges is that so far? Six. And, you know, we also have that nuclear fuel we can check out. I think eight's a good start. Or probably, like, ten. So, I'll show you what it is. It's actually really cool. Uh, Corvax Enrichment. And I think these days you can now make actually a really neat system for it. Um, so let's get that going. Where are we at? Alright, so... Just one more, and then, and then I think I'm satisfied. So, how do you keep making nuclear fuel forever? Uh, is the uh, 
the age old question. Actually, we don't need the last one because we have one up here. All right, so where is it? Are you actually not done? You are actually not fucking done. <laughs> Did these take up? Holy shit. Oh, you know what? Actually, we don't need this much. Oh my god, I just realized what, what I was making. Alright, where's the where's the car? Okay, let's go get the car. I also got to dump off some of this uh, iron. I actually don't want this iron. Alright, that's good enough. Yeah, so we have like two units of solid fuel for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, let's get the car. So... Um, there is a way to reset the car uh, with its contents and all that. Um, kind of just put a chest next to it. See, I have like mostly wood in here. Quite honestly, though. I, I don't even want this wood. How do I remove the wood from my garbage thing? Guess I just turn off auto trash. Just wanted to get rid of this stupid wood. Nobody likes it. Uh, I think I got rid of most of it. I know, there you go. Alright. Alright, that's not so bad. Alright, so put that back to... I uh, no, no, no wood. So I just kind of put in, like, all the crap I have. I don't know if there's a... Whoops. Oh, shit. Don't, don't throw those out. There you go. I realize if you control click an empty square, you can do that. Uh, so let's just take all this stuff out of here. We tear up the car. Uh, we place the car back down. Did I not? Oh no, I did. I did. I did. I did have nu nuclear fuel with me. All right, now it's a nuclear fi uh, powered car. Um, how healthy this is for you? Um, I will leave that uh, question up to you. Uh, but, but, it is fun. All right, we don't really need the rocket fuel anymore. Uh, just debating more things to get rid of here. All right, I think we're good. So this is a nuclear powered car, let's go. Whee. Still not as fast as exoskeleton legs, weirdly enough. But it is the best thing to power a car. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's do, holy shit, I just ran that shit over. All right, let's do some, uh, let's do some Corvax enrichment. How much more do we have here in terms of chest? Okay, nothing. Oh, what are you getting rid of? Oh, the stone. Uh, I guess we should kind of come beside the stone just so I can get rid of it. All right, so Corvax enrichment. So I guess we can just talk about that real briefly. Uh, so I can I can show you what it does. So it this is what it does. You take 40 uranium-235, 5 uranium-238, and that what comes out of it is one more uranium-235, but three less uh, uranium-238. Uh, this is kind of half the reason we were saving all the- well, I mean, what do we want to really do with the 238? Let's be honest. I mean, I could do depleted uranium rounds and stuff like that. Um, very much a possibility. Uh, but that's- that's no fun. So, but it's, the- it, this leads to a bit of a log logistical problem, because, uh, the product of uranium- the uranium enrichment is also- uh, sorry, not uranium enrichment, but the, uh, Corvax process is also- happens to be something it uses as well. So we have to develop some kind of system where both kind of come onto the belts, but like aren't really, you know, wasted all that much. So, you know, it's a bit of a bit of an issue because you're taking off the same belt. How do you always ensure that it gets what it needs? And it's a very long process too. So, and that's why we needed so much 235 to, to utilize it. So I have a solution in place for this. I do indeed. So first let's have a red belt. Go all the way through here uh, and then we have one two three one two three four five six why do I feel like I'm missing some centrifuges I think there was one I was I think I was gonna tear up this one but I, I still need like two more fuck I really do need two more I want to have like ten I, f I figured that was a good starting number what's this this is uh, yeah we need one more now we need concrete for that. Whatever, we'll get the concrete on the way back up. I don't know how this, I do this to myself. Alright, a little bit more. 
All right, some steel. Oh god, look for actually for a change, there's too much steel on the line, so it's actually coming down. I priority split it to the production science too, so miracles really do happen. All right, this is this is a problem. I I may have made too much nuclear fuel. Um, yeah, you you two need to stop right now. Okay, so apparently okay, I didn't realize that nuclear fuel had a stack had a stack size of one. But we can we can use that to power the death drain. I mean, it's just, it only makes sense that the death train becomes nuclear fueled. All right, so this, and then if I come down here, I'll get one more thing. So, I mean, this is fine, the, the centrifuge system I have right now. I mean, we've only been gaining uh, uranium-235. We have never been losing it. Like, look how much I have here. It's ridiculous. So, here's the system we're going to uh, put in place. Just waiting for the other one to go. So I'm not too sure of how to necessarily do this, but what we're probably going to end up doing is, do I have passive provider chest? Yes. Okay. So I'm probably going to take the end results here and let's get some stack filter inserters. So when it reaches the end, I don't particularly care what it does with the resources. I just want them to put it into two chests. Uh, okay. So one chest goes into here. Uh, are, are these all, these are just steel chests. So, what the hell? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not that kind of chest. Uh, it's like trying to give me more. Passive provider chest. All right, so this is gonna provide, this is gonna be the new provider chest for uranium. And then it's going to do two things. Uh, it's going to place uh, everything onto belts. And then it's going to split the belts. Now I know I need to like, I, maybe, I, maybe I need to have it so like it asks for the uranium constantly. I don't, I don't know what it really what to do with it. Well, probably, yeah, we can just do that. So, uh, So maybe maybe faster belts. We do something like this. Uh, actually no. You should kind of be a little bit more like that. And then it's gonna split off. And it's gonna do its own thing. So let me let me make this into like a requester chest actually. I mean even though it's like right here. Eh, uh, it is right here, isn't it? All right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna cheat. So this will always be on the one side. Um, that's kind of how that's gonna work, and this one will always be on the other side. And we can also pick this up as well. Uh, and I will have it so it just dumps off everything over here. Although, I don't think it will ever do that, but eh, whatever. Now, we have a couple of solutions for how to deal with this little predicament. Um, I don't know. Like, um, I, I guess I could just loop it around, I suppose. I, I don't know. But generally, the more things we have doing uh, uranium enrichment, the better, I guess. Thing is, it will be getting less back than it will be receiving, so it's kind of nice. So we put a bunch of blue inserters everywhere. So it can only really offload into the center belt, and it can only load into the other belt. And this is just kind of a nice way of how this works. Um, by the way, this is my first time attempting this. I'm, I'm sure there's maybe a better way of doing it, but eh. This seems pretty good to me. I mean, the other thing we could do, though, if we're really smart, because of the way the new belt mechanics work now, we can actually split this easily. So this way we just build in one direction, it's infinitely expandable. So as you can see, it's just taking everything it needs to now. Maybe this isn't quite fast enough. So we'll just do something like this. Holy shit. Let's just put this all in there. 
So we want it to be basically backed up. All right, that's it for the uranium. Let's just make sure this is in the logistics network. It is just barely in the logistics network. So, I mean, this is going to basically be like, you know, trying to get rid of a passive provider chest. Uh, so if I, if I give this an active provider chest, will it try and get rid of all the things here? No, it's going to just send it over here. Is that correct? No, it's sending it somewhere stupid. Okay, never mind. Well, actually, we can we can make this request. No, we we shouldn't make it request stuff. This is the storage place. Whereas, yeah, you can kind of see what the system here that we have is. Okay, I think I think the solution here is to. Make it into a storage chest that only uh, only accepts uh, uh, that kind of stuff, and then put put an active because the active provider chest basically attempts to get rid of stuff. So let's uh, let's see what happens when I when I do this. Okay, we need to get get some of this uranium two thirty five. No, it's not doing it correctly. Well. Well, it's just how things go sometimes. All right, so what do we need for this? Um, let's just give, make it a passive provider chest. We gotta find out where to put my my nice uranium too. So what we're probably gonna do is we're probably just gonna feed it into the system somewhere there somehow. I, I I'm not sure how to set this up with bots. I won't lie. I I've I've pondered this for a couple seconds. I guess I'll just plug it into there somewhere. Because I would like it to go back in the system. It basically just like ate my uranium and just sent it into the uh, logistic network somewhere never to be found again, so let's request it. Unfortunately, if I put that, it's going to take it from that chest. So we can't have that either. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, we're going to have to go check out the, the chest for that. Uh... So this is already filling up full of uh, uranium, but I, like I said, it, it takes a little bit in and then it spits some more out. So in particular, the ones in the back may not really work all the time, but that's fine with us. Because as we do this more and more, like as this chest starts to fill up, we just simply add some more to the end here. Because it's such a long process. Um, we could add more speed modules as well. I think that's something that people do. Uh, but yeah, this makes it so it keeps feeding around around to the system. And it grabs whatever it needs to, uh, you know, and that's it. That's Corvax enrichment. So we are literally going to have, like, this is infinite, like, nuclear capacity for anything. So I guess that's it for that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually upgrade all our trains to not be trash. Uh, I need to put some of this stuff away. Now, one of the problems that I have here is that I'm leaving no uh, fuel available for this. So what we're going to actually do uh, that I just thought of, um, we're going to add conditions for these, these things to be on in the first place. So this is going to read contents. It's being enabled if uh, you're at the 235. Let's keep at least like... Uh, I don't know, like 50 in there or something, or let's say 20, maybe. Can I copy over? I can copy over the settings. So now I'll keep it in here is greater than. Uh, so that way we don't uh, we don't run out of um, 235 randomly, because that would really suck. Wow, look at, look at this guy go. You know what we could also do? We could also feed it back into the, the main system. That's why a filter splitter would have actually been amazing for this. That's, that was my other idea for this. So, I mean, uh, this may be a problem eventually, where it's like, if this gets all the way backed up, then we might need another uh, splitter, which would have been nice to have. Because if you, we have priority splitters these days, right? So like maybe feeding it back into the system like that works? I don't know. 
I don't know what to do. All right, so that's fine. You know what? We can just leave that. That will work for now. Um, I don't really have a problem with that. All right, so let's go back to our um, our nuclear car. And the very last thing I'll leave you on is how I'm going to upgrade our train network. And this is something I'm going to do a little bit later. I don't know why the hell that's there. A lot of stone bricks all of a sudden I randomly have. I can just delete that. Uh, let's you know let's let's actually go have a look at how that's even going in the first place. Uh, the the stuff I had just built. Um, so the um, so the iron is completely backed up. That's that's good news. Um, it was all the way into the system. So we could have more. Uh, we could have more steel. There's actually nothing wrong with that. Um, the steel basically comes in. Uh, it's basically used all the way to the end. And it's currently going to other stuff, but you know it makes it to the end, which is all we really wanted. And now we have an abundance of iron, so that's that's pretty good. Um, so, anyways, okay, I will show you guys how we are going to upgrade some stuff over here. So, um, I haven't showed you much about rocket fuel, but I did show you that yeah we have it. Um, but we're gonna have a system for this in place. So uh, hopefully that doesn't un unpower everything. It looks like it did. All right, so, uh, fuck. Okay, I just need to, this requester chest is crap. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Um, my God, I think the car had some of this. Where's the car? Uh, car had some rails and the rails are nice, but I don't need that many. And don't need the gates. I don't think we use gates at all anymore. All right. Speed modules, whatever. I, and I picked those up at some point, I know. Alright, so... So this uses a fair bit more light oil, uh, the way the system is, system is going to work, but it's going to be worth... Uh, so, uh, assembly machines are required for this. A little process. Uh, I would just wish the sulfuric acid wasn't in the way. But... I think there's much I can do about that. Uh, actually, wait, this works out perfectly. So we're going to have a iron chest, I guess. Can we make more iron chests? I can. All right, so we're gonna have an iron chest. Um, and we're going to have two of these guys. So it just requires one chemical plant per um, machine making this stuff it's just it's it's a simple ratio so it's just gonna make uh, this stuff all the time uh, so we can do this and then I will have this kind of up to I don't know this many loads all right simple stuff like I said I don't think it really needs much more than, than this kind of system All right, there you go. So I was just gonna make a rocket fuel, um, kind of just the way this works out. And I'll put said rocket fuel into here. Now, the thing is that these trains will not automatically fill up with more rocket fuel, which is highly unfortunate. And also I have an abundance of rocket fuel with me and stuff like that. So it's like, it, it's refueling the train occasionally, but what I can do is I can just remove it and then add it back in. And then, and then we're in business. So I basically have to remove the existing fuel from the lines. But the thing is, we actually have to give the trains rocket fuel. Or actually, no, I don't think we do. Actually, if I if I recall, I think it actually works off of yeah, it does mix the fuel. So I mean, eventually it'll just burn through the stuff, the other stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, actually, this works out perfectly as it is. So, I mean, this will keep a little bit in the chest as well. Um, and this is what we're going to do to every single train system. And then eventually everything will be running off of rocket fuel. And rocket fuel is much faster. Right, the only problem I have is I have no idea what to do with the excess of uh, solid fuel. But, you know, we'll just work out something like this. So, uh, we have two things making it. Um, and then, yeah. So, when they when they finish burning their their crappy fuel, then, you know, they'll they'll go into the rocket fuel. So this is a process that will obviously take a little bit of time, um, but like that's why I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to just make these little systems in every little area. 
and uh, and then eventually, yeah, everything will be upgraded. And my car will run off of nuclear, and I guess so will the, 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 the death train. That will be nuclear as well. Even though we don't really use it for anything. I will admit, we don't really use it for anything at all, but I haven't decided quite what I want to do with that train at all. So, um, yeah, whatever, sue me. Holy shit, there's a lot of stuff here. So, it, it will just basically kind of utilize everything that I kind of have here, and then we'll kind of deal with it after that, so... Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, so next time, I think then we'll do weapons. I, I kind of want to get uranium weapons too, uranium ammunition. Um, and there's really nothing else after that. We can just kind of like show off like how all the weapons and stuff work because it's kind of cool, I guess. I just didn't really have time to, to show that off necessarily today. So, I mean, I've been kind of lazy about it too. So, you know, whatever. Uh, anyways, peace out, guys. Take care.